Namaste, and welcome to Beginning Yoga. My name is Lisa Barrent. Joining me in the studio today are Lisa and Martin. Today we're going to look at some deep hip opening and leg strengthening, mostly with externally rotated poses and mostly for the hips. So I hope you'll join us now and roll out your mat and let's get started. We're going to begin seated on a blanket or maybe just on your mat. And you'll probably want to face the front of the room. And we're going to come into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. The outer edges of your heels are connected. The toe mounds can open like a book. Begin to root down through your sitting bones and lift up through the crown of the head. Draw your shoulders down and back so the chest is nice and open. Relax the inner groin so the outer knees can descend. And maybe holding onto your feet or ankles, softly close your eyes and just breathe. Taking a few breaths here to settle in. And then we're going to take a little breath exercise today. It's pretty easy. So it's going to be a count of four on the inhale, holding the top of the inhale for two, exhaling for four, and then holding the bottom of the exhale for two. So four, two, four, two. So get settled. And let's all begin with an exhale so we can start together. Draw the belly in and up. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold the inhale, relax the shoulders, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Draw the belly in and up, press all the breath out for two, and then inhale, one, two, three, four. Feel your chest expand, hold the top of the inhale, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Draw belly in and up, press the breath out. And one more just like that. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Sit nice and tall, feel the chest expand. And exhale, four, three, two, one. One, draw the belly in and up. Let's elongate this a little bit. So inhale for six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay calm, stay relaxed and very lifted. Holding for three, one more breath. And then exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more breath just like that. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, holding for three, and exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw belly in and up, hold for three, stay relaxed. And then let the belly go soft. Just breathe in and out for a couple of breaths. And notice how much fuller your inhales are. Taking your hands to the outsides of the knees, let's close up the legs. And we're gonna come onto our backs. So if you're on a blanket, go ahead and move it off to the side. We're gonna use a strap today for an exercise. So if you don't have a strap, that's fine. Just use a belt or maybe a scarf. So coming onto your back, draw the knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, give yourself a nice hug. And then we'll come right into happy baby. So holding onto shins, ankles, or maybe all the way up to the outer edges of your feet. Allow the knees to come apart and the elbows to come to the inner knees. And relax your shoulders down. Feel the low part of your spine begin to root back down onto the mat. Taking one more breath here. Feel the chest nice and open as you fill it with breath. And then go ahead and bring the knees back into the chest and release the left foot to the floor. Find your strap. And we're gonna loop the strap over the big and little toe mounds of the right foot. For a moment, keep your right leg bent. 
Take one side of the strap with each hand and allow the shoulders to relax down. And as you gaze up at your leg, make sure the relationship of your thigh bone to knee, knee to shin, shin to ankle, and ankle and foot are all in a straight line. There's no zigzagging. And then once you have that alignment, slowly draw the legs straight. If the backs of your legs are very tight, the leg may come further away. Don't force anything here. Hamstrings are really big, tight muscles. So gently, very gently pull the leg towards you. Feel both sides of your hips squared off. And breathe. And then as this settles in, perhaps glide the left heel forward until the leg is straight, pressing the back of the left leg into the floor. And then take both uh, sides of the strap with your right hand. Take your left arm out to the side and take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, take your right leg out to the right to open up the hip. And as you do so, try to keep your left buttock weighted on the floor. Don't roll over onto your right side. And just take another breath here. And then with an inhale, go ahead back to center. Switch the grip of the strap, so everything's in the left hand, right arm out to the side. Deep inhale, and exhale, take the leg all the way across. Maybe the foot hovers, maybe the inner edge of the foot comes to the floor, your choice. And then with an inhale, go ahead and come back onto your spine. Taking one side of the strap with each hand, once again, very gently start to draw the leg in towards your chest as you press the back of the left thigh into the floor. So your legs are like a giant pair of scissors and the blades are moving apart. And then go ahead and release, bending the right knee. Set the strap off to the side for just a moment and bring both knees back into the chest. And then let's move to the other side. Release the right foot to the floor. Find your strap again. Loop it around the left big and little toe mound. Setting up the alignment of the leg. So keep the knee bent for a moment and just make that nice straight line. Slowly draw the legs straight. Relax the shoulders down. Feel the collarbone spread and your breath deepen. And then when you're ready, start to glide the right heel forward. Make sure your right leg is in a very neutral position, toes are pointed up. And then both sides of the strap in the left hand, right arm out to the side. Nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, take the left leg out to the side to open up the hip. Smooth, deep breathing. Nothing is forced here. And with your inhale, go ahead and bring the leg back to center. Switch the grip of the strap. Left arm out to the side. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let's move into the twist. Either the inner edge of the foot comes to the floor or the foot hovers. It's a little bit more abdominal work. Taking the ladder. Good. And then inhale, come all the way back up. One side of the strap with each hand, start to draw the leg a little closer. Trying to press the back of that right thigh towards the floor. Last breath. And then very slowly bend the left knee, release. And set your strap out of the way for now. Bring both knees back into the chest. And then rolling to your side, we're going to come back to seated, facing the front of the room, and coming into Sukhasana, cross-legged pose. Crossing at the shins, and again, rooting down through the sitting bones. With an inhale, reach your arms out to the side and overhead. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and forward fold. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Smooth breathing. And let's walk the hands over to the right. You may need to come up halfway and readjust the front of your chest and then drape it over 
the left, uh, sorry, the right thigh as you extend your spine. Turning this into a side bend, bend your right elbow, place your hand about a foot outside your right hip, and with an inhale, take the left arm overhead, and exhale, bend to the right. Taking the gaze up or leaving the head looking down, whatever's more comfortable for your neck. And then with your inhale, press into the right hand, bring yourself all the way back to center. And let's go ahead and switch the cross of the legs. Adjusting yourself so the spine is lifted. Inhale, take the arms out and up. And again, exhale, hinging forward. Lengthening the spine on the inhale and descending a little deeper on the exhale. And then let's walk the hands over to the left. Maybe lifting up halfway, re-extending and then draping over the left thigh. And then turning this into a side bend, left hand outside of left hip, about a foot. Inhale the right arm up, and exhale, bending over to the left. Gazing wherever it's comfortable. And with an inhale, press into the left hand, come all the way back up. Closing up the gap between the knees, we're going to come to tabletop position. Hands spread comfortably wide. Knees are under hips, wrists are under shoulders. We're going to come right into downward facing dog. So tuck your toes and begin to lift your hips up and back. Generous bend in the knees, way up on the tippy toes. And then begin to pedal the feet, so sinking one heel lifting up higher on the toes and then shifting back and forth, pretty much marching in place, but resist the temptation to shift the weight forward into the shoulders. Keep the weight back to stretch out the legs. And then finding a little stillness in your downward facing dog, heels reaching for the floor. And with your next inhale, come forward to plank pose. Adjusting your feet back so the shoulders are right over the wrists. Belly draws in, the side bodies are getting long. And then staying on tucked toes, just inhale and lower the hips, lift the chest. So upward facing dog, modification. Stretching out the front of the thighs and the hips. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, belly draws in, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Separate your feet nice and wide to the width of your mat. And then root your heels down. So that might mean you have to walk your hands a little closer to your feet. And then bring the thumbs to touch. Hands are still spread nice and wide. Left hand is going to sweep across and find the right ankle, calf or knee, whatever you can grab onto. Really root down through the heels. And then use whatever you're holding onto on the right leg to spiral the torso to the right. and then come all the way back to center. Switching, left hand on the mat, right hand sweeps across. And then coming back to center, separating the hands shoulder width, bring the feet back to hip width. Find your downward facing dog, lift hips up and back. And then bend the knees, come up on the tippy toes and slowly walk your feet forward to your hands at the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. As you inhale, root into the feet. Sweep the arms out and up. And hands come down through heart center. Let's take one full round of half sun salutation, Surya Namaskara. Inhale, arms reach out and up. And exhale, hinge at the hips and forward fold. Inhale, halfway up to extend. <clears throat> exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep out and up. Come all the way to standing. 
And exhale, hands down through your heart. Moving on now, inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, changing and folding. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, plant your hands. Step all the way back to downward facing dog. And with an inhale, lift your right heel up and back. And exhale, step it forward in between the hands. Use your right hand to assist if you don't make the foot up all the way. And then lower your back knee down. Both hands will come to the inside of your right foot. And we're going to turn the right toes out a few degrees. So your right big toe will be pointing to the right corner of your mat. Stay here and begin to sink forward. Maybe coming down onto the forearms or using a block <clears throat> or a book underneath. And with the toes turned out, you can keep that foot very flexed and active and maybe start to peel the sole of the right foot off the mat. So the knee is moving out to the side. And as you do so, try not to round the upper back, rather lengthen the spine forward. So this is really opening up the right hip. We're just here for another breath. It'd be nice to stay longer, but just another breath. And then slowly bring the sole of the foot back to the floor. Hands back to the mat, realign the front foot, and then frame your front foot with your hands. Tuck the back toes, come all the way back to downward facing dog. And we'll move to the other side. Inhale the left heel up and back. And exhale, step it forward. Lower the back knee down. And then again, turning the front toes out as you bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Sinking the hips forward. Maybe coming down onto the floor. And then maybe peeling the sole of the left foot up as the knee moves out to the side. Nice long spine, smooth, deep breath. Taking one more full cycle. And then hands back to the floor. Sole the foot back on the mat, realign the front foot. Frame the front foot with your hands, tuck back toes, and make your way back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, come up on the tippy toes, and slowly walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway up to extend the spine, and exhale, hinge and fold deeply. Inhale, arms sweep out to the side and overhead, bringing you to standing. And exhale, hands down through your heart. Stepping out wide, we'll all face each other. Making sure your feet are parallel now, outer edges are parallel with the ends of your mat. Take your hands to your hips. And inhale, lift your chest, get some length. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Bringing your hands to the floor. Inhale again, extend the spine. So lift the chest away from the floor. And then exhale, forward fold. This is Prasarita Padatanasana A. So bringing some more weight into the toe mounds, so not all the weight is back on the heels. And if your hamstrings, the backs of your thighs are very tight, it's fine to put a little bend in the legs. The idea is for the hips to lift. Walking hands forward, inhale, come halfway up. And then exhale, walk your hands over to the right drawing your torso into the right leg. Just a breath or so. And then coming back through center, extend the spine, and exhale, moving over to the left. And then coming back through center, inhale, extending forward, as you exhale, bring your hands to your hips. And inhale, come all the way to standing. And coming back to the front of your yoga mat. With an inhale, take the arms out and up. And exhale, hinging and folding. Inhale, halfway up to extend. As you exhale, plant your palms, step all the way back to downward facing dog. 
And with your inhale, take your right heel up and back. And exhale, step the foot forward in between your hands. Spin the back heel down, heel to instep. Start to draw that right hip into the midline of the mat so your right buttock isn't sliding out to the side. Bend your right knee deeply. Root down through the outer edge <clears throat> of your left heel. And inhale, come all the way up to warrior two. Now we're gonna use a block in a moment. If you don't have a block, perhaps a book wouldn't work so well today. Maybe um, like a cardboard box, something a little more stable. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can still practice the sequence. So sink a little deeper in the right knee, rooting down through the outer edge of your left heel. Check the alignment of your right knee right over the second toe. Gazing out beyond your middle or second finger. And then turn the right palm up. We're gonna reverse the warrior. Left hand glides down the left leg, right arm reaches up. Smooth, deep breaths here. And then coming back to warrior two. Reach the right arm forward now towards your uh, front of, beyond your right toes and then bend the elbow and place the forearm on the thigh. Take your left arm up. Try to draw the left shoulder right on top of the right. From here, we're gonna move all the way back to reverse warrior. Sweeping the right arm up, left hand down the left leg. And then coming back to warrior two. Now that right thigh is probably starting to get a little tired now. Reach the right arm forward, and then find your block. Place it outside your right foot, and place your hand at the highest level probably. And then left arm reaches up. Good. Looking down, come back to warrior two. Sink a little deeper. Deep inhale, and then exhale, go ahead and cart with your hands down to the floor. And step back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. And then with an inhale, take your left heel up and back. Exhale, step the foot forward in between your hands, spin the back heel down. Heel to instep, rooting through the outer edge of your right heel. Inhale, cartwheel the arms up. Warrior two, second side. Relax your shoulders down and breathe. And then turn the left palm up. Let's reverse the warrior. Right hand glides lightly down that right leg. Make sure that left knee is still pressing back towards the pinky toe side of the foot so it's not rolling in. And then slowly come back. Warrior two. Reach the left arm forward, bending elbow, forearm to thigh. Right arm reaches up. And we'll make our way all the way back to reverse warrior. Left arm up, right arm down the leg. Good. Come back to warrior two. Reach the left arm forward, and now find your block. Outside the left foot. Right arm up. One more full breath here. And then looking down, come back to warrior two. Deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead and cartwheel your hands down and move your block out of the way. Come back to downward facing dog. And then lower your knees down to the mat. <clears throat> wide leg child's pose. So big toes touch, take your knees wide apart and then allow the hips to settle back over the heels. Leave your arms extended forward. Two more breaths. And then bringing your hands next to your knees. 
Keeping a nice rounded spine, slowly come all the way up to seated. And then we'll come to back to Baddha Konasana, so bringing the legs out in front. And you may wish to sit on a blanket again, or maybe the hips are feeling a little more open now. Soles of the feet together. <clears throat> Opening the toe mounds like pages of a book. Sit nice and tall, inhale, and exhale, come forward. Relaxing the hips. Two more breaths here, opening up the hips so nicely today. And with your next inhale, go ahead and come all the way back up. Placing your peace fingers between your big toe and second toe. Wrap your thumb around so you have a firm hold of your big toe. Now see if you can perch yourself up on your sitting bones and lift the feet. Maybe take the left leg out to the side. Come back to center. Maybe take the right leg out to the side. And it's fine if you fall out of this. It's a fun little balance. Bring it back to center. Maybe take both legs out to the side. It's fine to keep the knees bent. Good, you guys. And then go ahead and bring the feet back together. Release the big toes and come into cross-legged pose, Sukhasana. Well done. Take a moment here. Hands to the thighs. Soften your gaze, close the eyes, come back to your breath. And then bring your hands to your heart. Taking this moment to reflect on your practice today and to silently express gratitude for your health and well-being. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us and I hope you'll join us again real soon. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.